In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the benefits of video marketing itself. These have been a lot of very high level, vague videos, but hopefully this helps someone who's just starting out their video journey or someone who's maybe thinking, man, I really like making TikToks myself and I work at this office at this desk all day. Can I do something for my organization? How do I make sure I'm doing that the best that I possibly can. If you are that person and you're maybe thinking about how do I talk to my boss about allowing 10 to 20% of my time to be able to be devoted to creating video content that I don't know if it will do anything good with, but it sounds like something fun that I'm interested and passionate about doing. I'm gonna get you there right now. You're gonna pitch them on the benefits of video. Now, some of these might not be measurable ROIs if you're just starting out. A good tech stack is very imperative to actually proving value with video. I do not wanna short sell you and act like, oh, you just make video and it works. It's great. Everything's there. There's a lot of strategy that goes into it. If you know anything about like SEO research down the line, yeah, you can get very advanced with video marketing, but at its base level, work off of your passion and use these benefits to pitch it. So your first benefit is going to be higher engagement. So just in my own experimenting on a larger website in the past, we found that video content of any kind Increased session duration on websites, increased conversions, increased time on page, increased everything great that you want and lowered your bounce rate. So if you're thinking about that benefits, higher engagement is fantastic. If you look at social media, you get higher engagement with video on average. Obviously this depends on the video. If you're putting a 40 minute video, you're probably not gonna get a very good yield, but that could really depend on the content though too. So when we're thinking about that, higher engagement. If you're trying to pitch it, if you guys are working on your website and your stats are not good, video is something easy to sell. The big thing though, I will say about this is a lot of people, they just tap that video onto the bottom because you had someone working for so long on all this website copy and getting everything right in the CTA and they don't remember that, you know what, that one video that maybe you didn't think was for a web page is what's gonna make that web page live. And putting a video at the top of your website is gonna do more for it than any beautiful word you could ever write. Yes, it's gonna help you on the SEO angle, but SEO pulls you into a website. What hooks you there? What prevents that bounce? That's gonna be video. Keeping with that is increased conversion rates. So if we're talking landing pages specifically, according to a report by Yans, including a video on your landing page can increase conversions by up to 80%. Obviously that depends on how successful that landing page campaign is to begin with, but Knowing that video can improve your margins by that much, do your own testing. Let us know in the comments how successful or not you are with those campaigns. I would say it's a no brainer to include video. If you can, why not? Even if it's not in your initial ad, include it in your landing page. Why wouldn't you? Improved SEO. This is my own little soapbox that I feel like no one else is harping on. So a blog can take anywhere from a few weeks to months and months to properly rank, to actually start getting good organic traffic. What we have been able to see in the past, and we were in a good niche, but we we're able to target massive company names in YouTube videos and get ranked on Google overnight. And moreover, what we were seeing is by having that video embedded on a proper website the proper way that as long as that is pooling in properly, it was pushing to the website, not to YouTube. So already, if you're using Wistia, if you're using Vidyard, if you're using something else for your hosting services, yeah, they do have SEO, benefits, we'll call it. But if you're in a competitive niche and you're using those for your hosting platform on your website, you are already massively failing. And that's getting a little technical if you're still a newer user. But when you look at your hosting platforms, yes, YouTube doesn't look that pretty embedded. I don't love it. I wish they gave us more appearance controls natively and you wouldn't have to use more developer side things to be able to port it through because not everyone has developers at their beck and call to just do really cool things with and interfaces the SEO benefits of YouTube far away any of the aesthetic issues. So using proper techniques, we were able to rank for massive company names on YouTube within 24 hours. 48 hours was the longest it ever took. And this was getting number one spot. With highly contentious YouTube channels that weren't, we were like a thousand subscribers. We had a little bit of authority, but not much, but we're still able to rank that heavily, that quickly, that repeatably. So if you're not using video for SEO, this is an angle not many people are doing. This is a nice, little niche you can jump into and really find some good success in. The next one is building trust with your customers. So if you're a company that your sales might be doing a lot of cold calls, that <laughs> you do a lot of white papers, you do a lot of whatever. The problem with these is you don't get to see the human behind the organization. You don't get to see that person that you're trying to trust. And I think in this 
post-COVID world anyways. We're all going remote. I'm working in my backyard right now. Yeah, it's hard to be personable, but doing a video like this allows you to see me, allows you to maybe trust me, maybe not. And that's a risk you play with video. But I would argue that that risk is worth it. It's the same risk you get by taking a meeting with someone. That person might not like you. Hopefully at the end of the day, if they see the value for their business, then they'll still work with you. So try not to get hung up on that too much. Next up is excellent ROI, which is obviously a tricky one given some of what I have said on proving ROI with video. But in the situations where you are able to, we have 89% of marketers saying that video marketing itself has proven good ROI for them. Anyone worth those salt in marketing right now is looking at video marketing and saying, man, I would like to get you in my corner. I don't know where that came from. Moving on. Video marketing is essential. If you're hungry for sales and you're not just trying to sit with your current customer base. If you're trying to grow your business, you're gonna be engaging in more aggressive marketing and you're gonna be doing video. If you're not doing video, you don't really exist. It's like not being on the internet. It's like not having a Google My Business profile. I don't know if it's my business anymore. It's probably something. So to conclude, these are all those benefits that you could pitch back to your higher ups to say, hey, let's just throw a little bit of money towards video, maybe my time. If your time, which is money, but it's a little bit easier than saying, hey, throw like $6,000 at a camera and whatever else, use your phone. Don't get hung up on equipment. Don't get hung up on dumb things. Just record and get stuff out there. People care more about authenticity than quality 89% of the time, maybe 98% of the time. I don't know. Flips probably depending on the market. So just to recap those, we have higher engagement. We have increased conversion rates. We have improved SEO. We have building trust with customers and we have an excellent ROI. So use all those points, all those benefits to pitch. Let's get more video at our organization and please like and subscribe for more and make sure you're following along at virtuevideo.com. We have our blog there that has good insights, the industry and everything else. We have top videos every single month that gets updated with different marketing videos to try to inspire you maybe to challenge you inbound, outbound, whatever it is, video marketing pretty much. We try to get it in there. If you want to submit something, just comment on the page and I'll try to shove it in the next month's post. <laughs>